From anger to forgiveness, a mom whose six-year-old daughter was killed at Sandy Hook is now sharing her journey of dealing with such indescribable pain to finding peace. News 8's anchor Scott McDonald sat down with Alyssa Parker. He has a closer look at what it took for her to find forgiveness, something now detailed in her new book in hopes of helping other families through heartbreak. These days, when Madeline and Samantha have a memory of their sister Emily, they immediately write it down. We have this little memory box that the girls, anytime they have a story or a memory that pops in their head, that they can run over and write the story down. The Parker family had six years with the always talkative, compassionate, and creative Emily. She loved art. She was an artist. Um, she really expressed herself through that medium, and, and we look back on all of her artwork as kind of a journal of, of the way she saw the world. Then, the day that changed so many lives changed theirs, too. After the shooting happened, the next few days were much a blur. Emily was one of 20 children killed at Sandy Hook Elementary. After the shooting, Alyssa was in a dark hole, indescribable pain. And I couldn't see the good. I couldn't understand how someone could do this to um, such an innocent, sweet being and all, you know, all of those innocent people that, that perished that day. She couldn't feel hope, reached out for faith, but came up short. It didn't feel like enough to just have faith in it. I wanted to know why. Forgiveness was out of the question. The shooter was just something I didn't even think about. I didn't want to. He was a monster to me, and, and to give him attention, it just, I didn't want to. She also struggled to forgive herself. I really struggled as a parent that, with a feeling that I let down my child. The feeling that I didn't protect her in the one place that you send your child, that they should be safe. I, I failed her, and I felt so much uh, guilt associated with that. But slowly, light began to shine in. Faith filled that dark hole. Through this experience, I realized how much we can heal when we allow ourselves to let in the goodness and the good things that people do around us or the good things that we do for ourselves. Acts of kindness from others, letters poured in. She moved from anger to forgiveness for the shooter and for herself. Eventually, Alyssa decided to put her family's story on paper. And as the pieces came together, she saw her story had a lot to offer. I felt like it was important to share the goodness of our experience and give people hope through this tragedy that, that there is a way to see that light again. Her book is called Unseen Angel, a mother's story of faith, hope, and healing after Sandy Hook. It's her family's journey and her experience with discovering her daughter's new life. It's this familiar feeling where you can just feel that person that you know so well and so intimately, you just know that they're with you. Scott McDonald, News 8.